Welcome back everyone to our gameplay of Transport Fever. So we left off last time getting our food route set up and I'm still not terribly excited about all of these guys being grouped together uh, quite this closely. It makes our profitability for this particular route very wildly, but a couple of things to, to point out at this particular uh, time. And that is, first of all, our money is we're north of 750000 in our bank account. And that is because I've simply let the game play out a little bit just to make sure that this route was going to go as I expected. Obviously, if it was going to lose a whole bunch of money, then we would need to make some immediate corrections. But for right now, even though it's an annoyance to me to have all of these guys grouped together rather than more spread out, I can deal with it for now but we'll loop back around uh, because we're only at 1876 right now so we got a long way to go before we can get into some cars and trucks and that kind of thing as time progresses so for right now we're certainly doing okay but there is a lot of demand available for us we could expand this route and again as time goes on our technology will get better and we'll be able to deliver uh, better and faster but for today's video, what I want to focus on is another industry that we can connect together. So one of the tricks in this game, as well as its predecessor in Train Fever, is trying to figure out in all of the randomness of the placement of the different industries, which ones of these can you connect, especially early on in the game when you don't have access to fast moving transportation. So I found another one over here by Rancho Cucamonga, and that is a quarry which we can connect to a construction materials plant. And that will give us our construction materials, which we can then take over to a city or multiple cities, of course, uh, as time goes on and help to grow those cities. So in order to do that, we're gonna need a few things, starting with some depots. So we're gonna need a depot at each one of the factory locations. And then we're gonna need a depot here inside the city itself so that we'll have somewhere to drop off those construction materials. And in trying to decide where we're going to place this, I think I have an idea just by looking at the city uh, zooming in, but let's come over to our land use. And here you can see our commercial right here in this area, but industrial is up here uh, to the northern part of the city. So that's where we're gonna wanna put our uh, depot since this particular uh, product is going to apply to the industrial area of the city. So I think what's going to happen is we're going to have our route go from the quarry over here to the construction material factory. And then as they're coming back toward the quarry again, we'll have maybe, uh, maybe we can connect these up here somewhere, these roads, and then have a depot sitting right up here somewhere so they can basically make uh, as straight of a, a path back to the quarry as possible and still get that extra money with the same vehicle. So I think that's going to work out for us, but uh, we're about to find out whether or not it's going to. So we need to swap this over to cargo. And let's see, do we want a large or a regular truck stays? We might, let's see, how much is large? Okay, that's not bad. I mean, that's only... Uh, about 14 grand depending on how much we have to adjust the land all right let's smooth this out a little bit all right so yeah about 16 grand that certainly isn't going to hurt anything we'll try to keep it fairly close to where we need it so that'll take care of one of them we need a, another large truck station and we'll simply drop it as close as we can over here somewhere right about well it just keeps getting more expenses so how about 38,000 what about if we drop it over here oh wow that's even more okay I think we'll come back to this side of the road and 37 fine we'll we'll go with that certainly not what we wanted to pay for it but that should work out just fine for us now we need to come up to the city and let's see where we're going to put this one we might as well make it a large station as well and i think we're going to drop it right down in this intersection which is a shame because it'd be nice to connect those over but i think we can make that connection 
right there. How about how much difference that made in the price? Not even 11,000 right there as opposed to, you know, 30 or 40 that we were looking at. All right, so we could just simply leave it and let these guys come back through here. And that's not a terrible idea, but let's see what it would cost us to make this change. So about 16 grand. Let's just go ahead and do that. That'll give them an option. I'm actually not sure which route they'll take, but at least now they have the choice. And by making some additional uh, area up here, some additional space for building, maybe the city will continue to expand uh, a little bit quicker into that area. So now we've got that taken care of. Uh, now we need to come into our depot and let's make some decisions on how many trucks we want on this route. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got 12, 14 total. All right, so if we do that, I'm gonna try to spread these guys out a little bit on this particular route. Uh, so 14 is what we're gonna be looking at total. Let's go ahead and make our line. All right, so we're gonna start here at the quarry and then we're gonna move products over there and then we're gonna finish up right here inside Rancho Cucamonga and then these guys will head back out and it looks like they are gonna take that new route that we set up. Okay, either way. So we're gonna name this, uh, let's see, let's name this construction. We're gonna run out of characters here if I'm not careful. So we're gonna go construction and then RC for Rancho Cucamonga. And now we need to purchase our first trucks. Uh, so we're gonna go freight and we're gonna go with the horse cart, which will be the updated version of the horse wagon. And it'll give us a little bit more capacity. And I think it actually goes the same speed. No, actually it goes a little bit faster. Okay, that's good. We like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and purchase one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven to start off with. And we'll go ahead and set that line to construct. And we'll go ahead and let these guys get going. So here they are coming out of the depot. We'll let these guys get pretty far along and then we'll simply order up uh, at least four or five more. So again, these guys can carry a little bit more and they can also uh, move a little bit faster. So we might not need the same number as what we have on our food network right now, but we'll give it a moment and let that play itself out. Again, we're still sitting over $500,000 even after spending a little bit of money on some depots and some vehicles. So I'm pretty happy right now. And part of this game uh, for me is you sort of pick and choose your time frames where you want to try to expand and then other times where you're not really getting access to some new vehicles that you're excited about, whether they're trains or boats or in our case, uh, the cars and trucks. You just sort of let things play out. And if you have your route set up to make money, then you'll simply be adding to your bank account and we can use that time to try to pay down or pay completely off our bank balance, uh, but we'll just have to see how that goes. Already, I was planning on a loss here right at the very beginning uh, with, with these, but I see that we've already got some construction materials coming out, some stone that'll be headed over to our plants. So it looks like these guys are gonna pick up some revenue very early on, and we haven't seen that in the past. So as soon as these guys, I think we'll let them get, let's go ahead and start things up again. I think as soon as they get through the depot here and start back, that's when I'll start this next, next batch of, again, maybe four or five, maybe even up to the same thing with seven. We've seen the excess demand that we're not meeting over here right now on the farm. So maybe ultimately what we need to do is uh, take care of this. And then ultimately, over the long haul, once we get some better equipment uh, and a little bit more money to play around with, then we can use these construction materials and actually ship them out to different cities. Send them over to San Antonio, send them to Bakersfield, and so on. Uh, we'll just have to see ultimately the layout. 
All right, are all these guys through? Looks like almost. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get these next group up. So we want the horse cart and one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm gonna go ahead and get all seven for right now just because I can't help myself. And we've got a little bit of money to play with right now. We've been making a little bit of money uh, already being able to pick up some supplies. So I think we're gonna be okay. So we'll go construct and now we'll start time back going again. So these guys should be a little bit more spread out. Again, if you wanted to get them spread out even better than this, then obviously you wouldn't buy seven at a time and set them all going at the same time. You'd spread that out, but I'm not as worried about that. You can see these guys are getting a little bit more spread out all on their own. So we're going to watch these guys as they take their route straight through town. And let's see, is that one of our guys? That is. He's carrying the stone. So now the next important step for us is, are we having line usage here, construction materials plant? And the answer is yes. Now, obviously, they're not producing anything yet because we haven't gotten there with the materials. But so far, so good. They're using the line. Of course, we already know these guys over here are using the line. All right, so let's keep an eye out on our food networks at 68,000. It's going to vary wildly, unfortunately, until I get over there and actually spread those guys out a little bit better. Oh, wow, 34, 35. Yeah, this is, is looking good. Each one of these guys can carry up to five. Yeah, I like this. Let's make sure that these guys, actually, let's keep this first vehicle up here. And let's make sure he picks up what he needs to. It always worries me a little bit whenever I see the wrong icon in there, even though you can usually expect it to take care of itself. And in this case, once again, it does. But each one of these can carry five. So we should see this number dwindle down, but the factory should continue producing and dropping these guys off. And it looks like all seven of our trucks right now are going to be either full or very close to it. Yeah, they're going to be in good shape. Everybody's going to have a full load coming out of there. Now let's head back over and let's see how their production's going. We're up to 28, 30 production. Uh, let's see if these guys are picking up anything. Okay, so they're picking up a little bit. It's going to take a little time for these guys to get their production up enough to get us full loads when we're over here, but you can see production just continues to increase and that's exactly what we want. And that's going to get us where we want to be. We're already in the green for this particular route. So that's good. Money is back up to $800,000. So I believe we started the video at somewhere around 750 or so, if memory serves me. But yeah, this is turning out to be a great route already. Uh, the food route, you can see we're on an upswing. We must have had some, some pickups here recently. Uh, okay, they're starting to get a little more spread out now. All right, I like it. I like it. Uh, now I'll be looking to expand these routes. Let's see what we've got here. So we've got nine construction material just waiting. And here comes our next group of seven. So that's good. They need to keep filling this up. And sure enough, that's exactly what they're doing. Still don't think we're going to quite have full loads for everybody from the construction material side of things. But uh, I certainly like where things are going. The goal is to, is to keep both of these. Wow, look at this. 67 sitting there. Yeah, we're ready to expand this network, I think. 16 over here. Uh, this is very tempting. Uh, in fact, let's let this run just a little bit longer. And I'm trying to let some of these last guys in the first group get through there. And then I'm going to, I'm going to purchase some more. So we're going to buy some more road vehicles. And I'm not going to go overboard just yet, even though that's exactly what I want to do. I'm going to buy three more. And I'm going to put those guys back on our construction line. 
All right, let's see where things are here. Okay, so here's our depot. And let's see, if I purchase these guys now, they're probably going to come over to here and then go down. So I want to spread these guys out a little bit more. So we're going to wait on those. Let's come back over and check on our construction. You can see the money is going along nicely. They're spread out enough that these guys are starting to do our pickups and deliveries uh, simultaneously at opposite ends of the route. So I like that. You can see everywhere we've got people uh, arriving and leaving the depots, and that's going to keep a consistent flow of money. Okay, we'll watch our money in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen pretty carefully here. We were at 800000 then we bought some more vehicles. Uh, let's see, let an industry upgrade. Oh, okay, so that must mean, that must be the farm. It's got to be the farm. Nope, limit's still 100 over there. What about here? Still 100, and I'm pretty sure that's where they started. Uh, 100 here. And there we go, 200. So this is our first upgrade, and these guys are, boy, do I love seeing these icons up here. 92, yeah, these guys are just screaming at us to continue expanding. Uh, so that's exactly what we're going to end up doing. But first... Uh, let's see. Let's come back over. You can see everybody is right down here uh, near the food depot. So I'm going to go ahead and start out another bunch. I mean, this is just so much demand sitting here waiting for us. Uh, let's go ahead and buy some more here. Let's see. Freight. We want the horse cart. And one, two, three, four, five. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and get five more here because I think that uh, we're going to need them. So we're going to set the line. I'm just going to let them all go at the same time because this should be a little bit more spread out. So these horse carts are going to be running uh, faster than uh, the carts we already had there. So I think this is going to end up being pretty good. And of course, they have a little bit more room uh, for inventory. So I think we're just going to be better all along the way. And this just continues to cement the idea that you want to move passengers in and around the city, no doubt. Uh, but that's not really where the money is made, or at least not for me. Other people might be a whole lot better than me at setting up these routes within the city and making tons more money. But for me, it's pretty simple. The money is made on this industrial side of things. And that of course, can change as time goes on and technology gets better. All right, I'm feeling a little bit better about our spread here. Still not where I want it to be, but I'm feeling a little bit better about it. Uh, our money is headed back up uh, towards 750 and then hopefully 800,000. Uh, now, let's see, where can we take? I really want to expand this further, and I want to take some over here to uh, San Antonio, because that is, I believe there's already a road here. If we zoom in a little bit, you can see, yeah, there's already a road there. And okay, industry is all the way on the northern part of the city. So that's not the best thing for us. But I'll tell you what I do want to do, whether we do it right now or not, I want to go ahead and put this up here. And, and that way we can have it set here because if we wait too long then we'll run into a situation where I'm going to have to uh, delete some buildings in all likelihood in order to make that happen and that will cost a lot of money and that is certainly not something we want to do. All right so the only thing that really gives me pause about immediately jumping in with uh, several trucks running this second route is that I'm only seeing, you know, smaller numbers here. If I were seeing numbers anything close to what we've got over here with uh, the rock, then I would definitely, definitely being uh, all over this route. But I have reason to pause right now. I mean, you can see the production here. There's no upgrade planned for now. But production is looking very good, and it's getting close to that limit. 
All right, so we're going to have to we're going to have to let that play out a little bit. I really want to do that, but I also don't want to get us in financial trouble. You can see our money's oscillating between 700 and 750 thousand right now and a lot of that has to do with our food route the more spread out and consistent it becomes uh, the better off we'll be uh, let's see how these guys are doing down here all right so the food is not filling up quite as fast uh, as I would like but again down here we've got opportunities to take food over to San Antonio if we can figure out how to get over the river without having to mess up any potential boat routes. Uh, it looks like since there's no cities up here that we might be able to simply take our bridge over on the northern side of the city and be good. Uh, oh wow, we just jumped up to 930,000. I don't know exactly what happened there, but I like it. I was too busy looking at the city and the river and yeah, that is perfectly fine by me. We continue to see huge numbers here. Have they done an upgrade yet? No, they have not. In fact, they've had to stop production because they're still waiting for us to pick up everything they've already produced. Uh, that's why you see the line usage at no right now. Uh, they're simply not making anything. And that's our fault because we're not keeping enough vehicles there Here's our second line of vehicles. You can see they're way too close together right now. But that should take uh, it should take care of itself going forward a little bit better. Oh, wow, we are up at 1.1 million. Okay, so with 1.1 million in mind, we are making lots of money on this new construction. Uh, and I still think we can further improve this route. So now maybe we can force an upgrade here uh, in, in production there by starting up this new line. So let's just go ahead and see if that'll work. Uh, if it doesn't, then obviously we can make some changes. So we're going to go from the factory over here to the town. And we'll call this one, uh, we'll call this one construct. If I spelled that right, can't tell. And then SA for San Antonio, which is, I believe, the city right here. It won't let me see it right now. There we go. Yeah, so that'll be good. And so now, all right, so we're still paused. And we'll go ahead and use this depot once again. So we'll use the carts. And since we have a, a fairly simple route here with only two drop-offs, and I'm a little worried about production here. So let's just do, say, five. So there's our five. And let's see, how many of these do I want to do at a time? I may want to spread these out uh, a little bit more. Yeah, let's try to spread these guys out. All right, so let's do the line, which is construct SA. And let's go ahead and start our time. All right, so here he comes. That was, what, 107. So he's good to go. Now we'll do 108. Line SA. So now they're started. Get rid of this window. We don't need it. And so what we want to see going forward is this this inventory start to fill up. Right now we're not seeing anything in it, which is pretty much what I would expect to see right now. Okay, let's start the next guy on the line. But I really want to see some numbers come in into here because otherwise we're just going to be making this run and with nothing but cost, no revenue whatsoever. Okay, let's go ahead and get next guy started. And then we've got one more. All right, so right now this is at six minutes. That is not going to be a good number. Here you can see we're down under, you know, between a minute and two minutes on these others. There we go. Now we're starting to get 
some materials in there. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Now that I can see they're going to use this route, we'll go ahead and get that started. Let's see. Okay, he got four out of five. What did the first guy get? Okay, he got none. Okay, that's pretty much what I would expect. All right, so we got two, three. Yes, that, that, that's what we want. So let's go ahead and buy a few more because I can't help myself. Two, three. And let's set your line. Again, trying to keep them as spread out as I can. And yeah, look at this material. We want to see these guys upgrade. Uh, we want their production to be pinned at about 100, 90 to 100, and then that'll trigger an upgrade if that continues. So now let's get our next guy up and running. Okay, then we'll come back over. 46, okay, that's not bad. Uh, looks like, okay, wow, we're getting even more for the San Antonio route right now. Yeah, this game isn't doing a very good job of curbing my enthusiasm for this new route. Okay, now let's get our final guy up and running. Let's see what our time looks like. Okay, three minutes. That's not terrible. Three minutes is not terrible. Uh, it's probably would like it to be a little bit quicker than that. Let's see where our first guys are coming back. Uh, let's see, where are they? I see a few going that way. Here's one coming back. Is that 107? Nope, I missed him. All right, we'll see how that works out. But you can see they're fairly spread out for right now. And then I know we've got at least a couple on their way back. Uh, so let's see how these guys are doing. Okay, so that's 107. All right, so this is our first guy that we sent. So where's our last guy coming down? Uh, here he comes. I believe this is 113, I believe, is the last one. And so this guy, I would expect to, yeah, he made the right-hand turn. So we've got our first guy is headed back to the depot to pick up more construction materials at the same time that our last one is leaving. So that's not too bad. Okay, let's take another check in so now the san antonio route is actually doing better than the the uh, rancho cucamonga route right now but it's all ultimately going to depend on upgrades to the construction materials plant i mean we've already seen i mean this area over here this plant just can't produce enough i mean my goodness raise production to avoid a downgrade okay and what that means for us is that they're not producing anything right now because we can't pick everything up quick enough uh, to get all the supplies over. Let's see. Yeah, they don't have anything stored, but they have tons of potential. Okay, yeah, we need to we need to expand. We're at 1.48 million, so we've got a little bit of money to play around with. So I feel like as long as we keep an eye out on these three routes, we'll be in good shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm not even going to worry about where my other trucks are in this route. We're going to get this freight up and moving. So I'm going to buy five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Get those guys done. And I see, really don't want to send them all at one time. So oh, we got to move this guy over. And so we want to do... RC. We want to do the Rancho Cucamonga route. And so I'll just give it just a, enough time to try to give them a little bit of a spread. And then we'll get these guys up and moving. We don't want to downgrade in production over there. And then to avoid that, we need to get some more, some more vehicles over there to them. Because they have tons of inventory. This is where we could really use 
uh, the help of technology and have a lot more inventory space on our vehicles that can move faster. That is really what we need right now. But uh, in place of that, since we don't really have that option right now, we'll just have to have more vehicles. And hopefully the money will work out. You can see here the San Antonio route up over 40000 right now. Not bad considering it's only making money one way. Okay, where are we here? We want to go RC. And then we got one more to add to the route. Uh, you can see here we're down in under a minute. So we're at about a minute, uh, just under two minutes there. Same thing on the San Antonio route. So overall, not bad. All right, there we go. So now that'll make it even a little bit more quick. Still not seeing the numbers I would like to see from the construction materials, uh, but the flow is there. And I think if we keep pushing the issue, we're eventually going to get that upgrade. Uh, but I'm just not sure how many vehicles we're going to have to get in order to meet the demand over here at uh, the quarry. This is just a huge demand, much higher than I thought it was going to be. But at the same time, you know, when we look under details here, I mean, there's a ton of potential here. Stored is little to nothing. So it's telling us, try to deliver more stone. And yes, I agree. That's what we're going to try to do. But I don't want to just dump about 20 vehicles at one time on the route uh, and start losing a bunch of money. I mean, we're doing very well right now with these routes. And I want to make sure that we continue to go in the right direction. I mean, we're at 1.5 million. We have essentially doubled our balance in today's video. So I don't want to ruin that by going in too quick. I feel like I'm pressing the issue enough as it is. So let's come back over here and look at the food. Uh, there we can see we've got a cluster of trucks sort of all in this area. And then we've got another cluster. This is probably our second cluster that we got started today. They're on their way back. So this, once again, looks like we've got plenty. Let's take a look at the details here. Uh, we've got tons of potential here, nothing stored. So yeah, what we really need is to expand both of these routes. So I'll take a look at that. Uh, offline. But for now, that's going to do it for today. We had a great video today, made tons and tons of money, more than doubling the amount of money in our bank account. So thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned for more Transport Fever.